What is up, fellow YouTubers? SubduedGecko30 here, and I am back playing Mass Effect, guys. So in the last episode, we managed to save the planets and Novaria, I think it was, from a Thorian. So right now, we're back in the galaxy map, and let's get on it, guys, shall we? Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Alright, let's head to the comm room, then. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. All right, but before we go on, before we go any further, let's make a quick stop at the Citadel. See if I can buy some more weapons and equipment because here there's not really much of a choices on weapons and armor. Oh no, it was Pharaohs, not Novaria. Novaria is going to be the next place we're going to go to. Yeah, Novaria right there. Okay, so let's head back to the Citadel. Let's head to the Citadel. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. You need Admiral. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Yeah, uh -huh. that's what all the military says. Support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectres answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Alright, anyways. Let's continue back to the Citadel. Alright.
All right, uh, let's go see what we can get from the Citadel. See if there's any like any weapons and armor and stuff. Cause I'm not kidding. Y'all seen the weapons and the armor I have? I'm, I'm gonna need some new ones if I'm gonna be in like better battles. Okay, who should we bring on the Citadel with us? Let's bring Ashley. And let's bring. Who shall we bring with us? Let's bring Garrus, since uh, he's seasick. So yeah, let's bring Garrus. Analyzing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Tin hut. That is. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't think it's the politician's decision to throw you to the council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills. For the same price, we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Okay. <laughs> Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. We need to talk about your crew, Commander. Oh, no. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I'd planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Dang, level up. <laughs> Alright, so let's see which button was it again. Okay, with this button. Uh, still nothing for the charm, but I can get fitness up. And assault rifle as well. Sniper rifle is unlocked. 
Alright, let's see. Ashley. Oh, man. Ashley. It's been a while since I've done Ashley's. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Put one there, there, and what else? We'll do advanced overkill for her. Whew, same for Garrus. All right. All right, sniper rifle unlocked. What else? Alright, what else can we use for the last one? I guess sniper rifle, since Garrison seems pretty good with a sniper. Alright, that should be it. Say real quick. All right, let's go take care of what we need. Let's go see if we can buy some new armor and everything. Take care of here as well. Do you feel that your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, Gunnery Chief? Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. <laughs> There's always those moments when you, you have to say something to break the silence in an elevator. I just hope I have enough credits to get what I need. Commander Shepard. Sorry to bother you. This is Lieutenant Girard down in the docking bay. There is a woman here. Uh, she was rescued from Batarian slavers a few weeks ago. She is from Mindwar. I guess she was taken in the raid on your town. You mean she was taken in the raid that killed my parents? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. She got free somehow. Grabbed a gun from one of my guys. Now she's holed up here in the docking bay. She, uh... She says she wants to die. I hoped you'd talk to her. Oh it's boy. Shot, but you went through the same thing. The raid. I figured maybe you could talk her out of her tree. I'm on my way, Lieutenant. Sit tight. Anything you could do would be great. I don't want to. Uh, she's been through enough. I'll have my men stand by for you. All right. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Well, human, most yes. of them, anyway. You work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? 
Um, he was behind Eden Prime. I guess I could say that. Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's surprising, Commander. The official line says that Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. All right. So let's check with the Citadel, Citadel, yeah, Citadel Requisition Officer. Let's see what we can get. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see. And oof. And this this armor is actually pretty good. What about the sniper? It does a bit more damage than the one I have. And this heavy armor is not very good. Let's see about the shotgun. Ooh, a lot of damage as well. Let's see, 260, and what about this one, 240, okay, so this one's a good one. Uh, pistol, a bit more damage as well. Okay, so yeah, that one does. Mm -mm. It's like the ones all in the tops are the best ones. Okay, get that. Need that. And I'm gonna need this. Hope I have enough credits. Do I? Yes, I should. Okay, um, no. I'll buy the assault rifle. Okay. And I guess that's all I can buy. <laughs> Alright, so, um, quick save. Yeah, let's get this. Okay. Same kind of armor and, and weapons and stuff, but at least they're a bit stronger. That's what really counts. At least they're a bit stronger. Okay, and there was also something else I needed to do. Let me take the Citadel Transit. I think it's in the Presidium. Yeah, Citadel Tower. Alright, uh, let me see. Oh, there it is. The Admiral. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A uh, Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Alright, so that's what I need to take care of now. We can head back to the docking bay, and then we can head out to the next mission. And I think it's in the wards. Yeah, C-Sect. Alright, so we head back to the docking bay, and then we'll continue on our way to the next mission from there.
After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. There they are. Amanda, glad to see you. She's back there? Yes, ma'am. Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper position, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. You seem awfully worried about her. I, I, I'm just doing my job, Commander. <laughs> I hope I don't need it. Tell your men to stand by. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger, back off. Or walk away. I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. Alright. My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. <laughs> the masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You're not an animal. Your parents, what did they call you? Do you remember them? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Leave her alone. What's the last thing you remember from Mindua? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. Put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be if she's dead, she can't work. But they know. She hopes they'll leave. But they put her in the pen. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe nothing would change. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide! They hit the masters. But the masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's... He's melting! Shh! She doesn't want to see that! Don't make her look! Don't look! Stupid! Stupid! I know it hurts, Talitha. I'm sorry. But you need to deal with this. What happened to them? Think. When she thinks, water comes out of her eyes. The masters beat her when she wastes water. So she doesn't think anymore. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her and the Masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? I was on Mindwa. My parents died in the raid. Lying! You get hit for lying! Get the buzz or the burning! Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. For a while I was broken. 
I lost my whole family, Talitha. My friends, my childhood. I had to pull myself up and keep going. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. How did you get here? Did you escape? I can't escape. They have chains, wires, needles. You go too far, they take your brains away. Animals like her come. Animals with guns. They make the masters explode. Try to fix the masters so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. You were afraid. All you'd known for 13 years was the master's abuse. So you tried to heal them. She doesn't want to see other animals. They're not real. They can't be real. They can't see her. If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl. A dirty girl. A stupid girl. She deserves it. It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. I'm gonna take a step towards you now. Okay. Oh, she's no good! Don't want to be handled again! I'm gonna take a step towards you now, okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I'm gonna take a step towards you now, okay? Please don't touch her! She's dirty. You'll catch it. Talitha, this will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. Will she have bad dreams? You'll dream of a warm place, and when you wake up, you'll be in it. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... me. But she wants to remember. Is it over, Commander? She took the sedative. She wants to get better, Lieutenant. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just... when I see her curled into a ball and shivering... She was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? Bad things happen to good people, Lieutenant. That's why you and I are here. Don't wring your hands over her. Help her. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for your help, Commander. We are taking her to a counseling center. They'll help her get better. Alright. <laughs> that was actually really, really like, wanted, making me want to cry, guys. It really was. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Alright guys, we are going to stop it here for now. Um, that will be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment, and please subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys.